Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the equation of hyperbola. Usually, they will give us a sketch and give us a formula next door, but you should also know this basic formula of an hyperbola. Another thing that you will see is they gave me the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes. This one's going through where x is 1, and this one's going through where y is minus 1. You see it from that coordinate where the two asymptotes meet, is at 1 and minus 1. What we now do is we fill in the two asymptotes first. So we've got an asymptote here, x equals to 1. That's going to go over there. Then you write x minus 1. If this is a plus 1 on the x, you write an opposite sign here, so it becomes minus 1. Then we fill in the horizontal asymptote where y equals to minus 1. That will go to the back. We write that minus 1 with its sign at the back here in the place of q. Now we look for a coordinate somewhere on the graph. They tried to trick us here because there it goes through the origin and they didn't give us a coordinate, but we should know that coordinate. It is north and north. Then I plug this north in the place of x and the y is north in there. Like I said, put the north for x in the place of x and the north for y in the place of y and solve for a. I'm not going to do the calculations with you, so we get the answer a equals to minus 1. Do go about trying to work this out yourself and see if you get the same answer. Be careful. Then my final answer will look like this. They gave me this formula, and now it looks like that. I've got my a here as minus 1, I've got the p there as minus 1, and I've got the q also as minus 1. So this is the final equation of this sketch. Stop the video and see if you understand what we did. Here's our second problem. They say find the equation of this hyperbola. They gave us a formula over here, a picture over here, a coordinate over there, an asymptote over here, and they asked, work out the value of a, P and Q in this formula. Do not get a fright because there's no Q there. Because the vertical asymptote is at x equals to minus 1, I write in a x plus 1 over here. I told you if this is a minus 1 on the x asymptote, you put in a plus 1 over here, x plus 1. I also wrote the plus naught at the back because they wrote nothing here, so I know the one is y equals to naught. Then I look for a coordinate somewhere on the graph. Yes, I see one there which is 0 and 2, which I now substitute into this formula. So I put the 2 in the place of y and the 0 in the place of x. Then we get the answer, 2 equals a, or a equals to 2. So my final answer will look like this. They gave me this formula, and this looks like my formula now. Do not get a fright because I wrote the plus 0, I need it just now. They ask us now to work out the value of a, p, and q. They didn't ask us the equation, although we need it. So A was standing over here, and the value of A is 2. I can see it over there. I'm jumping to Q next. Q is a thing written at the back in our formula usually. If you look here, there's a plus 0, so the value of Q is 0 in this case. And then P equals to minus 1. P was written over there. The answer we got here was plus 1. But remember, if you take this minus 1 and you plug it into that P over there, a minus and a minus will get me a plus. I made a star here, so be careful. P is not plus 1 in this case. P is minus 1. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If there's anything in school mathematics that you're not sure about or that you run into that you can't do, please send your problem with a clear WhatsApp photo to this number. Then we will try and solve it and send back an answer to you as soon as possible for free. Enjoy functions.